in a competitive exam the more time you save the more score you can get because in a competitive exam the time is important factor and in this video i am going to discuss the multiplication tricks that you can use in your exam to save time and this trick will be help you to do the multiplication in just a five seconds so let's start multiplying any number with 9 99 or 999 is very easy but if you are using the traditional method that would be taking the time so do you know that multiplying by any number with 9 is really mean 10 minus 1 and 10 multiplication is very easy you have to just add the zero at the end of the number that you are multiplying with 10 for example i'm multiplying 9 with a 10 you have to just add the zero with the 9 and that would be the answer for example 9 multiplied by 9 is equal to 81 this is easy and you know but how you can do it while using this trick for example 9 and instead of 9 i write 10 minus 1 if you 10 minus 1 is exactly 9 which is easy to multiply no you have to know multiply 9 with a 10 that is 90 minus 9 multiplied by 1 that is 9 and it would be look like this 90 minus 9 and this will be give you the answer which is 81 and which is exactly the same as 9 multiply by 9 so this is the trick but how you can do it while with the harder example let's solve a try a harder example 46 multiplied by 9 is equal to what we have the answer that is 414 but how you can get this answer while using this trick that is just write 10 minus 1 instead of 9 i wrote this and 46 multiplied by 10 is equal to 460 just write 10 at the end of 46 and that is and i think the subtraction is very easy you can do this in your mind even i can do subtraction in in my mind so you can do 10 minus 6 is 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1 and 4 minus 0 is 4 so that is what the multiple the subtraction work in the next example let's solve another example 68 multiplied by 9 which is similar to the previous one write 10 minus 1 instead of 9 that would be 680 and 668 which is 612 you can do subtraction in your mind to multiply by 99 you multiply by 100 minus 1 in a previous one we were using 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 here we would use 100 minus 1 is equal to 99 multiplication by 100 is really easy because you have to just write 20 at the end of the number for example i am multiplying 46 with 99 this is the answer is 4554 while using this trick i am writing here 100 minus 1 instead of 99 and that would be 4600 because you have to add 20 with the 46 and do the subtraction in your mind and that would be give you the answer which is similar to the 46 multiplied by 99 another example that is with 999 and this is similar to the previous one and you can do here 1000 minus 1 is equal to 999 and you have to write 30 at the end of the number like 38 multiplied by 999 and this is like 1000 minus 1 that is like uh, 30 at the end of 38 that would become 38000 minus 38 and this will be give you the answer 37962 you can do the subtraction in your mind it it is very easy multiplying any number with a 5 25 or 125 this is the second trick that i am going to discuss with you and you can do any number multiplication with these number in just 5 seconds so let's start multiplying by 5 25 or 20, 125 first we are going to discuss multiplying by 5 is just multiplying by 10 but what 
this is mean the next step is and then you have to divide by 2 because 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 let's solve an example the example is 12 multiplied by 5 this is easy you know this the answer is 60 but how you can do this while using this trick 12 multiplied by 10 which is 120 and then divided by 2 it will be give you the answer which is 60 another example like 64 multiplied by 5 so only just add a 1 0 at the end of the number which become 640 then divide by 2 and it will be give you the answer 320 it is very easy to divide any number with a 2 because here we have like separate the word 6 640 6 4 and 0 4 divided by 2 is 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 so you can do division by 2 in your mind and that is 320 let's try a little harder a little harder is like this one 4 2 8 6 multiply by 5 so instead of thinking on multiplication just write a 0 at the end of the number and divide it by 2 all of these number or even number even digits and you can do it in just a second multiplying with a 25 is a little harder than the previous one which is 5 so the first step is to multiply by 25 you multiply by 100 why but the next step is here just add a 2 0 to the end of the number because we are multiplying it with a 100 and then divide by 4 but why we are dividing it by 4 because we have 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 and 25 mul multiply by 4 is equal to 100 if divide by 4 is difficult divide twice by 2 like it's very easy if you think that division by 4 is very difficult divide by 2 2 times like look at the example 64 multiply by 25 just add a 2 0 with the 64 like this one and then divide it by 4 if you think the divide by 4 is difficult divide 2 times by 2 the first time i get the answer which is 3200 the second time i get the answer which is 1600 i divided by 2 in my mind i could not calculate the division by 4 which is 1600 the next example is which is a little harder just add 2 0 with a 58 and divide it by 4 the first time division by 2 i get the answer 2900 the second time i get 100 1450 so it's very really easy to multiply any number with 125 and uh, i think this is uh, multiplying any number with a thousand like add a three zero at the end of the number and divide it by eight like uh, three times by two why three times by two because two multiply by two multiply by two is equal to eight since like i told you two multiply by two multiply by two is equal to eight let's solve an example 32 multiply by 125 we have 125 here just write a 3 0 with a 32 i wrote this and divide it with 8 if you think 8 division is uh, very difficult do it three times with a 2 first time i get the answer 16000 second time 8000 third time 4000 so it's very really easy the second example that i can do with this is like 42 multiplied by 125 and if you are doing this while on the rough paper it will take a time because three digit two digit two digit number and it will be definitely take you take from your one minute two minute and you can do here in just a second write a three zero with a 48 divide it with eight and you can get the answer like this one six thousand is the answer so for more mathematics tricks and tips fast calculation quantitative reasoning make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video share it and comment below that what you think about this video thanks for watching the video